Unless you live under a rock in the middle of a huge forest, you have heard of Dubai. But did you know the original Dubai was a man born in what is now the Republic of Tanzania? Legends go that it was after him that the great city, Dubai, was named. Once upon a time, there lived a man called Dubai. Dubai had a large number of livestock, including camels, goats, sheep, and cattle. His extraordinary intelligence was well known. With such a large herd, Dubai had to constantly seek out new pastures. He soon abandoned his estate and headed east, seeking pastures. He located his herds in a peaceful meadow area where they would have plenty to eat. Although pleased, Dubai was not satisfied. His mind was filled with unease. He had rushed to leave home without obtaining the necessities for his animals. Being a stranger to the area, he also lacked adequate watering facilities for his livestock. There was just a little basin available for him to wash his feet. It was draining to water his animals with that little basin, so he pondered a solution for days. He came across a house not far from the pastures, where his animals grazed one day while out for a stroll and surveying the area. He went to that spot. He eventually arrived at the home of an old man and his wife. Dubai came up to the host and requested a glass of water. They quickly became friends after the old man offered him some water and a seat. They then began to chat. Seeing an opportunity, Dubai borrowed a basin to give his animals water. The elderly man was hesitant to give it to him, but he eventually did. After Dubai took the basin to water his animals, he returned with it. After this, Dubai cemented their friendship and the two became inseparable. Sharing food and water, they grazed the cattle side by side. Dubai would often take the old man's basin, use it to water his animals, and then give it back. Furthermore, Dubai was repulsed. Nobody should make him go to the old man's house daily just to borrow a basin, especially a man of his stature. His mind wandered to the possibility of owning that basin. Even with all the money in the world, he knew the old man wouldn't sell it. It was imperative that he devise a plan without delay. He set his sights on owning that large basin. Returning to the old man's house to borrow the basin was the expected outcome of Dubai's lengthy session of soul-seeking and creative planning. However, he refrained from returning the basin this time. The next day, after he had watered his cattle, he gave the old man the basin back, this time including his own little basin. The elderly man inquired, Dubai, what is the significance of everything that you have given me? After receiving the basin and seeing the smaller one within. Just because I gave you a big basin to use for your animals doesn't mean you're going to return it with a little one inside. Yes, isn't it great? Dubai replied. Your basin was pregnant when you gave it to me. Its offspring have been born. Well done, my friend. Taking the basin and its baby back to the house, the old man thanked Dubai, who had surprised and impressed him. Dubai was ecstatic that his strategy was coming together, so he rode home grinning. Dubai stayed away from the old man's house for a whole week. With the promise that the large basin would soon be his, he instead devised ingenious methods to hydrate his livestock. Following the week, he made his way to the old man's house, where the latter hurried over to salute him. Among other things, they discussed the basin that had the baby. On this occasion, when Dubai needed the basin, the old man was too eager to return it to him. I hope it will bring another small, he said, oblivious to Dubai's trick. Dubai nodded in agreement with the elderly man and proceeded to water his animals, clearly amused. The basin was never returned by him. After two months, the elderly man began to worry about his basin and Dubai. In quest of Dubai, he set out. Dubai was soon visible to the elderly man as he sat calmly a short distance from his temporary dwelling, puffing on his pipe, for use because he didn't understand why Dubai would go silent for two months while he was perfectly content the old man lost his temper. He yelled out to Dubai, Young man, where is my basin? As he approached the city. Dubai, who had failed to see the elderly man approaching, was taken aback by the question. The old man would find the basin, Dubai recalled,
because he had left it lying in the room center. So he sprang to his feet and dashed indoors to conceal it. After closely following Dubai, the elderly man was taken aback by Dubai's response. Dubai emerged from the makeshift house sobbing uncontrollably as he was about to enter. Because of his compassion, the elderly man sought to reassure Dubai. Hey there, buddy. What's wrong? Amid her sobs, Dubai proclaimed, It's dead. The elderly man wondered, What's dead? With increasing concern. The basin, was Dubai's response. The elderly man's shock and anger were too much for him to bear. What gives his largest basin its demise? Wow, that was absolutely impossible. In Dubai's eyes, what was he? The brainiac. Young man, don't make an idiot of yourself. A basin can't die, the elderly man said. Dubai argued that, indeed, you are born, you grow up, you reproduce, and you die in each human life cycle. A birth could have taken place in your basin. It has died now. After realizing Dubai had played him for a fool, the elderly man had nothing further to say. Embarrassed, he left Dubai's house. Because he was so foolish, he had let a con artist take his priceless basin. He despised himself for it. Afterwards, he informed the Sultan, the region's ruler and protector, about the situation. The Sultan ordered his soldiers to find Dubai and bring him in to interrogate him. Dubai swore he was innocent and rejected the elderly man's accusations. To the Sultan's council, he related the story of the basin's birth and reminded them that everyone knows that anything that can give birth will eventually die. If the old man could accept that his basin had given birth, he should also accept that it had died, he said. After hearing Dubai's defense, the Sultan and his council decided to free him. The elderly man would never get his basin back. Take away from the story. The story Dubai and the basin encapsulates a dual lesson. While creativity and ingenuity can empower individuals to navigate seemingly insurmountable challenges, it also serves as a cautionary tale about the motives behind others' actions. The narrative demonstrates how Dubai's inventive solutions to his problems, though initially appearing ingenious, are rooted in deceit. This underscores the critical need for skepticism and discernment in our interactions. It reminds us that not all acts of kindness or offers of help come from a place of genuine goodwill. Some individuals might leverage their cleverness for their own gain at the expense of others. Therefore, it teaches us the importance of scrutinizing the intentions behind freely offered kindnesses or solutions, emphasizing a balanced approach between appreciating creativity and maintaining a healthy level of critical awareness about the potential for manipulation. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to hear more juicy stories. Storytamu is here to keep you entertained and informed.